Hello, hello students. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate you all on your successful scholarship result. So I believe some of you have gotten the scholarship and now they want to apply for the visa to come to Hungary. So, you know, before you apply for visa, in the visa process, so you have to follow some simple guidelines that uh, I would like to show you everything today. So before you apply for the visa for, uh, visa application in your respective countries, you have to fill out some forms that you have to download them through the website of the immigration office of, of Hungary. So here I have the sample of the Form. So we have almost like three to four forms that you have to fill out in your visa process. The first one is the studies of student mobility form. And the second one, we have a resident permit form. You know, you have to also fill out a form for the resident permit so that it will be easier for you even when you come to Hungary. So you don't need to apply for the resident permit if you fill out the form now. So immediately after you arrive in Hungary so they will issue you your resident permit so you don't have to pressurize yourself upon your arrival in Hungary so you just have to focus on your studies so and also we have a form for the children like if you have a child and you want to take your child from your country to Hungary so I believe some of you they have children and they want to take them to the to Hungary for their study so like you can fill out that form but for mostly I know most of the undergraduate students they don't have children so I believe you just have to fill out a studies or student mobility form a resident permit form and um, there is a questionnaire you have to fill out also in the embassy and the, as I know some embassies they do an examination they arrange an examination for the scholarship students and the self-finance students so based on the experience i have in nigeria as i know nigeria we have our embassy like they arrange examination for each and every student that want to study in hungary they arrange an exam for you according to your intended field of study according to the course you have gotten in hungary so here I would like to first to show you how to fill out the form for the studies or student mobility form. So here, as you can see, this is a sample for the studies form, which is which we call Appendix 14. As you can see here, is Appendix 14. So, and then also um, there is you have to tell them the legal basis of the application. So you have to tell them either you are applying for the partial pursuit of studies or mobility of students so you are a scholarship students or self-finance students you just want to study in hungary you are a full-time student so you don't have to do anything with the mobility of students the only thing you have to check is pursuit of studies as you can see here and then the next thing is um like you don't have to um, you don't have to fill out this um, second block and then uh, you we, let's move to the let's move to the number two which is particulars of house education establishment so here you the name of the host education establishment should be the name of the university you are going to study in hungary so here like let's assume I'm, uh, I got a scholarship to study in the University of Debrecen. So here, like I said, I wrote the name. I write the name of the University of Debrecen here, and uh, my I want to um, start my studies in uh, bachelor's degree. So in the bachelor's degree here, as you can see, I take out a uh, bachelor's training because I I want to pursue my studies in a bachelor's degree. Yeah, and then make sure you know the address of your university this is the address of the education establishment so this is the address of the university the first 
number this number is a postal code and this number is a like the name of the address and this is a number of the university so and then even if you don't know the address of your university i believe all your i believe all the informations are, are available online so you can check it online and type it here and then you can also even check it on your acceptance letter from the university because if you wherever you got a scholarship and uh, the university will issue you an acceptance letter and uh, the temples will send you a, a scholarship award letter so in the acceptance letter you know you you will have the information the necessary information the apply the necessary information to apply for the visa process yeah so in your acceptance letter i believe you will definitely find the address of your university maybe all the address of your hostel yeah a hostel that you gonna stay with upon your arrival in hungary and then the next thing the next thing is the name of education establishment just write the name of your your high school i mean secondary school type the name of your high school so this is federal government college like it's a secondary school we call it high school so check out uh check uh secondary education here yeah this is the name of your education and then you know on top there is educational attainment uh, which is a west african senior school certificate examination so that means you have a work result and uh, you have completed uh, your secondary school so and then this then the next thing is uh, address of the education establishment so you have to write the address of the you know this is like everyone can fill out this one i believe and then the next thing is the date of received uh, receipt or receipt of your diploma so you know the time you graduate you finish your high school so you can write it here and then you know as and then the next thing is uh, language spoken and, and level of proficiency so here you can mention all the languages you can uh, you can speak if you can speak english you can speak hausa you can speak turkish you can speak um maybe german you can speak arabic uh, any language you can speak just list it, list the language here it's okay and this will not affect your application in any way as soon as you are fluent in english you can speak english and effectively and uh, have your mother tongue language i think this is, will never be a problem english is a major thing here because you value english you got ad you get admission to study in english language when you come to hungary so they want a student who can speak english fluently and who is very proficient in speaking english language because if you don't know how to speak english you know you can't even study here when you uh, come so that's why i say make sure you didn't forget about english language i believe it would help so the next thing is uh information about your means of subsistence in hungary the source of support you the source of support so you have to tell them which support uh, where you can get a support for your studies because they want everything to be you have to have a subsistence means means of living when you come to hungary because they don't want you to be stranded when you come here that's why they want to know where you you will be getting support maybe from your government or from your parent you from your brother or from someone who who promised to take care of your education so anything just write it here and check out peel out this one whether it's you are self finance if you are self finance student self finance means uh, self means like you have someone that will be paying for you or you are going to pay for your fees by yourself or your brother is going to pay it for you and then the family member here this one is a family member also is it has a connection with the self finance you know so and then you have to check it here and if you are a scholarship student for self 
and the family member just check out no and then in the scholarship click um, yes so here if you are a scholarship student do you have any saving just right no you don't have any saving because um if you tell them um because if you tell them uh, if you said you have any savings they will ask you for a proof from a bank statement and if you don't have it so they will definitely reject your application so because here you will be getting a support from Tempest Public Foundation as you can see here and from the Federal Scholarship Board of Nigeria you know in Nigeria will support you and the stipendium on Garicom scholarship which is from the Tempest Public Foundation so you will get double support so I think you don't need any any saving because two governments will take care of your study for the rest of the information like other income or assets for means of subsistence so you don't need any assets because you are a scholarship student you you get a uh, like you were audited with a bilateral education agreement scholarship stipendium hungary comes scholarship so double support from government so you don't need any means subsistence like they will support you and then the name of family member providing support no need to fill out this information because you are a scholarship student otherwise you have to write it and then there are some informations you have to read everything here but here you don't need you don't have you cannot do anything here i think you don't need to touch it so here is those the information about the visa process and the other things so i think this is the end of the studies and the stu student mobility so then the next thing is uh if you want to check if you want to uh you if you want to uh, fill out the form for application for residence permit as I told as I told you before I said if you want to apply for the resident permit you have to fill out the form so that it will be easy for you when you get your visa you come to Hungary you study your study so I believe you are going to have no stress while um, while um, starting your studies in September so better fill out this form because it will help you a lot i believe if you didn't feel if you didn't fill out this form your application might probably get rejected yeah so i don't hopefully i don't want anybody to get re a rejection from the embassy so here is um for completion by the authority authority as you can see don't touch anything here don't touch it automated case number is not from you it's from the embassy when you go there they will write your automated case number and then here paste your photo paste your passport photo make sure your passport is is very um, clear here and so make sure your passport is very clear so I have Hopefully, I have a poem that I fill out completely, and I believe it will help you a lot. You can see how I filled out everything, and I think you can follow my procedures and how I fill out mine and how other people do theirs before. So here, you paste your photo, you do, you did your signature here, and then you did, you paste your photo here and then you did your signature here and uh, for the rest in this block you don't need to do anything with them because they say it is for compilation by the authority so don't need to do anything and then then here they ask you delivery of document so you are a scholarship student so i believe if you are from nigeria you your scholarship, um, your visa appointment will be, um, your visa will be uh, like you will be, will be booking from the federal scholarship board. They will book for your visa appointment. So even your document, your documents will be some, your will be submitted to the federal scholarship board. 
if your visa accepted or rejected at the end so i believe you can use this i believe you can said uh, you can tell them delivery of your document to be uh you want it to be applicant will collect the document of the issuing authority so it will be collected just when you finish your visa just go back home and wait for the result whatever the case may be the payroll scholarship board will tell you about it and and then so here you can see i fill out applicant will collect the document of the eastern authority so and then there is email address just write your email and phone number this one i think i believe you can do it and then the next part is your personal info your personal information so just write your surname your phone name and uh, that's your first name so if you write your surname if your surname is the same since the time you since the time like your father has the same name like he never changed a name before so just retype it here and then your name also you have the same name throughout your life you never change a new name so just retype it here and then let's move to mother's surname and phone name at birth so you have to write your mother's surname and phone name so here i wrote um, Fatima Umar you can write surname as Umar and write phone name as Fatima so you can change this one Fatima since it's a it's a female name you can change it to the next position and then Umar should be the first one since they say surname and then your sex marital stat status so this one is easy I believe you can do it then the date of birth and then place of birth so you can see here I fill out everything and citizenship here I citizenship you see Nigerian and then Hausa then professional skill so in this professional skill not uh, like it's not compulsory for everyone to fill out here this column for the professional skill but for me like i wrote i wrote during my time i uploaded some some certificates that i got from computer skills i have like in programming so i uploaded everything i go i, I went to the embassy along with my document with my professional skills certificates and uh, I wrote them here but if you don't have them just don't worry relax it will definitely be fine just write educational attainment like this one is secondary and that's all just write it here for I mean like for the undergraduate student employment before arriving to Hungary if you don't have employment don't rush or write anything just leave it also blank leave it blank and then write your passport number here and then there is place and the uh, place and date of issue that that means the day the place you you got your passport and then the date that means year month and day so as you can see here i peeled out everything so you can check your passport the first page first page of your passport just check it and check the data page of your passport check the data page to find out the day of issuance and the day of uh, the expiry date of your passport and then here we have the type of passport so normally the student normally the passport we have so in nigeria like uh, you know for when applying for this scholarship normally the students we have private passport normally the passport we have is private passport so just check out private passport and then the next thing is uh, details of applicants um, place of accommodation in Hungary so here in your acceptance letter you will find an information uh, regarding your accommodation in Hungary even if you didn't get accommodation by your university I believe that your university will help you with an address for the accommodation this thing is very serious don't forget about this take it in your acceptance letter you will find information about this when you take it in your even 
your university even if they say they didn't offer you an accommodation you didn't get it don't worry about it because of because of this your visa can be rejected why because they don't want you to come to Hungary without having a place to stay. If you didn't get a place, where are you going to stay? So they don't want anybody to be stranded in their country and that's all. So that is why I advise you to check it very well in your to check it very well in your acceptance letter. Check the uh, land register uh, reference number and then check the postal code, the locality. This is like in the University of Delhi, so this is the locality around the address of the geometry, and then here, and then here you can see this is a Varish uh, Peter student dormitory. So this is the name of the dormitory, and then here is the postal code. So the postal code you will see it mostly in Hungary. You will see the postal code first before the name of the address or the name of the street. So you can see maybe um, so. Maybe from the acceptance letter, it is 4032, but so many Uts, uh, Ut and then Debrecen. So here, there are so many Ut, maybe Ut 140. So this 140 is a number of the building. And then um, then this postal code is the first number here. So you have to write the postal code and then the type of the public place dormitory and then building number i told you ut means number like uh, the number of the your building the number of the building is the ut this ut in so you can take it um in your acceptance letter and then building block floor door no need to fill out this for the door no need because you are not yet there the floor is you can get the floor number until only when you arrive in hungary when you arrive to the dormitory or you arrive to your apartment so then block also don't worry don't worry about this let's move to the this uh, legal title of residence in the place of accommodation so it's tenant those right uh, tenant so don't worry and then the next thing is comprehensive sickness insurance insurance cover so if you are a scholarship student as i tell you don't worry about anything you are a scholarship student just check this one i have comprehensive sickness insurance cover so if you have uh, you have sickness insurance cover so this one is just take take this one because in your acceptance in our scholarship award letter check your scholarship award letter you will find information about the benefit of your scholarship and among these uh, those the benefits listed they mention they mention medical insurance there is a medical insurance for every student under the scholarship so just check i have comprehensive sickness insurance cover and then the next thing is um return or onward uh, journey conditions so this one they want to ask you about uh, like when you when you are right of lawful residence experience like when you are when you finish your studies you don't have maybe a resident permit it's experience maybe so what uh, which the country will be your destination for your return or onward journey? Tell them which country do you want to go back after you are after you are resident permit experience. Please don't rush a right any country. Don't rush a right America, Germany, or any country. Just write Nigeria. Just tell them you want to come. You want to come back to Nigeria. Just Nigeria is Nigeria should be your top and the main priority here. And then means of uh, transport. And then the means of transport is A. So you will go to Hungary by air, you will take a flight from Nigeria to Hungary. So don't worry about this one. And then the next thing is, do you have the necessary passport? Yes, you have the passport. Visa is, and then ticket, um, ticket. So you don't have the ticket yet. Don't worry, just leave it blank. Sufficient financial resources. Do you have sufficient financial resources? Yes. 
amount don't write if you are a scholarship student don't write the amount why because you will be sponsored by the government and the government will take care of all your expenses during your stay in hungary so why do you you don't know how much are uh, the financial resources of the government so just write yes you have but if you are not a scholarship student you have to write and then you i believe they will ask you for a bank statement and you have to go to your bank then um, collect a bank statement from the bank take it to the embassy and show them to see if whether if you can take care of your studies and then the next one is dependents for children and parents of the applicant so you don't don't worry about this one we are all like maybe you are undergraduate students you don't have any dependents for children so just leave it blank like we did it here we didn't feel anything so just don't worry just move on to the seventh which is a miscellaneous uh, information with uh, the uh, they said permanent or usual place of residence for arriving to hungary so just write your, your country nigeria your uh, locality right your address uh, just name of public place right your the address of your place of staying like uh, the place of living in hungary and then the next thing is um they ask you do you have a document residence right of residence in another schengen member state so no you don't have any right um you don't have any document you don't have a resident permit in hungary so here your option should be no you don't have any evidence of right of residence in, in any schengen area in any member of the schengen countries so you don't have them so just right no so but if you have a resident permit, maybe you are maybe you are living in germany you are studying in germany and you have your resident permit in germany you want to transfer to, to study in hungary so you know in the schengen area member of schengen countries there are more than 26 countries in europe that you can enter without a border check and you can stay you can stay for each of the member state for like 90 days uh, for 90 days which is a legal legal stay so but if you want to come to hungary for studies you know you will be staying for longer than 90 days so just write the number of your type of the number of permit just write it and fill out the information here and then the next thing is uh, have you ever had an application for resident permit rejected previously so if your visa is rejected previously rejected then you have to write yes but if like you never had any rejection for the visa process this is your first time just check no and then this uh, information they ask something also here as you can see have you ever been sentenced for a crime before so i believe you you never committed anything before so just uh if yes in the which country and when for what crime and what was your sentence so i believe you are you have you you have no issue with the crime so just write no and then the next thing is have you ever been expelled from hungary yeah, um no maybe you have never been to hungary before in part even europe so just write no and then then this one is some medical information just check out here if you don't have any disease they ask and then check out yes or no and then if you have any contagious um or infectious disease so and you receive something um, regular medicine or treatment so just write yes or no so make sure you check your health condition before filling this one and I, then this one is i hereby declare that my minor child is shown in my passport is traveling with me to hungary so here so you don't have any child so maybe you are undergraduate student you don't have a child so just write no but if you have a child 
and you want to take your child from your country maybe from nigeria to hungary so you know there is a form to fill out for the children you have and you want to take them to your country so just write yes but if you don't have a child just check no and then the next thing is um so next thing is your plan of and plan duration and reason of stay just write check your uh, acceptance letter you will see your in your acceptance letter and what letter you will see the date of your graduation so check it there your acceptance letter and all letter check your graduation day uh, date and write it here then maybe you study your studies here in, in hungary in september 2023 and you will be graduate uh, you will be graduating in in 2027 31st of january so maybe you have seven semesters so if it's seven semesters so you gotta graduate uh, in 31st of january so this is just write it like this and then here you have to write um i have i declare that the purpose of my stay in hungary is so this is what is a rot by themselves you just have to check which ones fit for you so the one that is good for us here is studies or student mobility appendix 14 appendix 14 i check it here and then as you can see here they say you have to write they say here you have to write the appendix 14 is appendix 14 that you are using so check it here check um write appendix 14 and then date right on the day you did your visa interview so write it here and then do do your signature your signature yeah your normal signature and then for this one they say i um uh, so this one the acts i hereby undertake the commitment to the lives at um by the territory of member state of the european union on my own accord in my application for resident permit is definitely refused so so this one is only made if the applicant is in hungary so like you peel out you peel out the form in hungary maybe you peel out in hungary you want to apply for the resident permit in hungary you peel out the while you are you are staying in hungary so so this one you can write you can peel you can write something here but if you are not in hungary forget about it and then this one is from the authority only the authority the responsible authority in the embassy or immigration i don't know so they are the one who will control this page and then um this one um so this one if you have a child i said if you have a child you want to you want to go with your child in hungary so fill out this form it's almost it's also the same and uh, yeah it's the same so let's move on so here you can see here, here i have some questions uh, that i believe this question will help you um so these questions i def i believe they will definitely help you during your visa interview and the visa examination so as i told as i told you i have an experience of um maybe 90 percent of the nigerians uh, like that want to study in hungary they Oh, the most of them they have, they usually apply for uh, for the engineering and health science or medical science fields. So most of the Nigerian, so and some they applied for maybe in the faculty of science, the uh, in the science major natural and uh, applied science. They apply maybe some they apply for few students apply for like chemistry, physics, or. Uh, computer science but he mostly computer science and then so so this is most of the nigerians they apply for engineering and the medical way science field so and i believe these questions will definitely help you during the examination so these are the questions that i have provided some questions for you that uh, I believe will definitely help you during the examination because I have an experience on these questions. Most, of, almost every year, I ask the student and they tell me uh, they used to, they always tell me about the questions they were asked and the questions are always 
almost similar they are almost similar always so these questions i believe they will help you in physics i have in physics and uh, in mathematics and uh, in physics engineering majors so we have um most of the engineering majors excluding chemical and computer engineering they have physics and mathematics so if you are want to apply for like mechanical engineering electrical engineering yeah so civil engineering as well so all other engineering fields so make sure you get yourself ready for physics and mathematics exam so you have to you must write exam i have done oh, so yeah but i but based on my experience i know in nigeria you must write exam in physics and mathematics you are flying for engineering majors but in chemical engineering you have to uh, write chemistry as well you have to write chemistry in chemical engineering and also in computer science you have to write uh co in computer science engineering info that that is information technology so you your exam will be computer science and then in physics and mathematics um, and the other um, biology for the medical and health science field and the chemistry computer science i have gathered all the information necessary for you here so you can see here are the basic questions okay. uh, you can see here are the basic questions in physics and mathematics so here in physics i brought you 10, ten questions but first you before you check out the question make sure you check your book you open arms law you open arms law in your book make sure you open arms law and then you check newton first and the second law of motion yeah and then check electricity electricity check uh, check electricity yeah electricity yeah and uh, maybe magnetism yeah and you have to check all of them force velocity and distance <coughs> state of matter electric field yeah just and some simple questions maybe in mechanics so and uh, um, maybe in physics and and mechanics so not in mechanics yeah in physics you have to check it also and then these are the questions um you can check this question we have from question one we have question one
so here you can see uh, so we have from question one like uh, Josie said a hypothetical process in which nuclear reactions take place at room temperature is so you have to check the answer and tell them so I cannot tell you the answer now because if I tell you you will be you might be very lazy to study but uh, if I didn't tell you you can go and check it by yourself and then the second question is an absence of matter is so you have to check all this this question and then the third question you can see it's a Faraday case block so uh, you just check the options and uh, check the information about the question then we have the fourth question which is a Newton pulse and the second law of motion you have to go and check this one as well check the Newton pulse second and or third law of motion yeah anyone so and then check this uh, the fifth question the sixth question also as you can see the questions they are really very easy as soon as you are studying I think this question they are very easy and uh, um, these are just a basic basic question for like um, yeah they are just basic fundamentals like you have to know in physics so I believe each and every scholar or maybe a self finance student can get can answer these questions here because they are very simple questions then the, there is ohm is a unit of so you have to check resistance of air or any option so you have to go and check it by yourself and then we have the edge the question edge as a type of energy in a moving electron check information so make sure you take information about this and then we have the ninth question you can see it you can read about it and then we have the tenth question so you can see opposite of the nuclear fusion and they ask what is a mass and this a very simple but tricky question <laughs> so and then in mathematics so mathematics this is these are just a simple mathematical questions so this is you have to this is just a basic arithmetic you know it's syllables are uh, yeah they are really very simple um yeah simple basic ar um, everyday arithmetic yeah you know profit and loss yeah you have to go and check this one in the percentage of something you know the price yeah so this one is easy i think and then the second question you have to know the basics of algebra you have to know algebra because how how can you get uh, admission to study uh, uh, an engineering major in a foreign country or even in your country which i would know in the basics of mathematics i think you for you to study engineering you have to be very good at math and then this question and then this question it's always this question like every year they ask this question mostly like for three consecutive years from 20 and uh, 20 2020 and 2021 and 2022 so they asked this question i have a uh, group three people told me about this one three people told me about this question so so this one is 100 minus 7x equal to 13 100 minus 7x equal to 13 so every year they ask question like this so this is just a, a simple algebraic equation so i think this one is very easy this one is like maybe is for the ss1 question so this one x plus one equal to seven this one is a very very simple question that i believe each and every one of you can answer so solve all these questions correctly and then the next thing is we and then so you have to be very careful I, I know that um, even if you will get many questions like if and I believe if you can get like uh, many questions in math like 10 questions or 8 questions I believe these two questions they might come out so don't worry about the exam because the exam is not that much hard you know so the next thing is chemistry so you can even uh, you can so you can read about these questions for chemical engineering students this one is for you so you have to check 
about some basic questions in chemistry so these questions you have to check them i believe if you check this question you, you are exam uh i believe your exam would be fine if you can do all this you can see the second question also you can see this is the third question and then we have the fourth question here there is an option and then we have the pitch question so you can even see yeah look at the questions so oh my god they are really very um easy and uh, i know that most of everyone can do it all the students who got admission to study in hungary can do all these questions and then we have computer science um we have computer for computer science and it engineering students so i am an engineering student i have a friends from engineering i know what type of questions they were been asked they were been asked during their time and i know the questions i was asked um, during my time so i believe um, called computer science engineering is also a very very easy exam so just check about input and output device as you, as i wrote here i said input and output device and then check memory here yeah, check memory check everything about ram rom read only memory uh, uh, random access memory uh, check about volatile and non-volatile memory and then check about network and the computer software yeah check about software computer software and then you i believe you are one step away from becoming a hungarian computer engineer or i can say a computer engineer in europe so just try it and i believe you will be the best very soon i hope so and then for medical and the other health science fields so you have biology you have biology so in biology these are what you supposed to read about in biology check uh, the basic check up for medical and other health science students even though you have applied for um medicine you have life for nursing and patient care nursing or physiotherapy or uh, or any medical and diagnostic or like all dietitian dieti you want to be a dietitian or yeah some related medical fields just check this out and uh, i think it will help you in your examination so read about read about basics biology questions like in cells and its classification know what is cells what are the classification of what are the classification of cells no unicellular organism no no i know some uh, like i can say like independent um know some independent living organisms like and then know about um uh, like what are the, those classification in cells know about the part of the cell yeah so i believe as colony as plement know all these things and ecology know about ecology a like classification of living organisms so right no no everything kingdom pylum up to species up to species so know the classification you carry you carry out and the prokaryote and yeah know all these simple stuffs in biology know them very well read about ecology read about evolution yeah and uh, you know like in this part um you can check about uh, like parasitism commensalism and some relationship between living species i believe these questions they always they always ask similar questions in relationship between organisms like commensalism parasitism symbiosis uh, and uh, you know they usually ask this question so check it make sure you read about this and then these are some questions that uh, i gathered for you just specifically for you to ask your visa interview so 
these are the question you can read about this first question you can read about the second question and then you can read about the third question it's very simple simplest unit of classification just you know this is she and then read about the fourth question it's not that difficult like you know something that makes organisms suitable survive so you know adaptation and then this one they are very easy and then the last question i got that for you is this one so you can take this one this is the fifth question so um this is the end of the video and uh, i believe each and every one of you who watch this video i believe can he or she can do very well during his visa process and uh, i believe the visa would be very fine i wish you a very uh, successful visa interview i wish you a successful journey since from the visa up to your journey in your hungary to hungary so see you soon in hungary don't forget to subscribe like and share this video see you soon in hungary